Hey besties, so what we're gonna be working on today is a cigar wrap. I'm doing this in design space. This is something that you can do for, you know, your groomsmen, best men, um, for baby showers, for men's uh, birthday parties. Literally, there's so many different uh, options for these. I am using a Mentos. This is a way to like even still keep a theme going for somebody who doesn't smoke cigars. It was something that I did for my husband's uh, 45th birthday. So really fun and um, they look so real. A lot of people even thought they were actual cigars. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna do a Father's Day theme and a like sort of like a best man type theme. So I'm gonna use these items right here. I do have the Father's Day one already created in design space. So we're gonna just go through this really quickly and design the best man. So this is the Father's Day one, I am going to just select that and flatten it before we go any further. So I do make mine about 2.9. Uh, just keep in mind that that does have a little bit of overlap on it So if you're gonna add any pictures or wording or anything like that to the You know this wrap part of it Then you want to just make sure that it doesn't overlap in a way where it's gonna cut off your wording Okay, so and then also if you're only using this for the actual label make sure that you measure the cigar that you're going to use since there's so many different sizes uh your measurements are going to vary based off of that since i'm using a mentos i'm using 2.9 your sizing is pretty much always going to be about that or even a little bit smaller if you wanted to make it because like i said mine does have a slight overlap on it i am using a glue gun to seal mine on a glossy piece of um, like cardstock or photo paper but sticky paper is also an option you can use let's go ahead and make this about one inch in height I'm gonna duplicate this once because I will need two I'm going to make this one inch as well and this one inch okay this and this is the exact same thing I uploaded them two different ways you typically do not have to you can literally just go and make this a basic cut and it will basically do the same thing but when it's a print and cut you cannot contour it I am going to use this one so that I can contour and I only want the inside of my um, I only want this part so you see there's still an outline I'm going to align them to the center vertically as well and slice. And then place it there. Then I'm going to select it again, align it again just to make sure it's directly in the center. I am then going to go to my shapes. I'm gonna add in a square. I am going to make it 0.4 in height and 2.9 in width. So I did make my, you know, the wrap around, I did make it a little thicker on this one. Uh, just because this part is a little longer again that's something that you can determine how long you want it it's not like one standard size for you know anything that any cigar wrap that you do there's not one standard size so you just go with what basically feels right for your design 
I'm gonna make this black. Okay, I'm gonna add best main to that. And then I'm gonna change that color. That's really it. I'm gonna add in this wording right here on the sides okay and then select and flatten so that is pretty much it let's go to make it i am going to do let's say eight You do also want to make sure your material size shows the paper that you're going to print on because typically I've noticed since they made the changes it automatically defaults to A4 so just make sure you change the size or your print might not read well. Okay so let's see, can I add another one? Let's see, I think we can add one more. Okay, so we could do about 18 to one sheet and then go to continue. You're going to send to printer. Uh, use your system dialog box if you're printing on glossy paper. So I did get most of my images from Creative Fabrica, uh, which I'll link down below. But they do also have some templates on there that are already created that you don't have to make your own. So you can check those out as well. So let's go to photo glossy paper and best quality and print. Okay, so this is the tissue paper that I purchased from Amazon. And you can do about three you can do about three wraps with with one sheet.
So there you go. I also cut them on sticker paper, just so you can see. So either one would be perfectly fine. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.